Hey there, it's Big Make with Konigsberg. And recently, I took a trip to London. And I enjoyed myself immensely. I explored the town, checked out the Tower of London, the Tower the, the Tower Bridge, the London Bridge, the Parliament, you know, Buckingham Palace. I did the entire works. And of course, while we were there, uh, we had to take a stroll to West End in Winchester. And that's where all the designer and name brand luxury goods are located. And there is a Burberry store there. And I've been hankering to get a scarf. So... I went in there. There is a bunch of different selections of men's scarf, and this one blew my mind when I saw it. So I'm gonna, we're gonna take a look at it right now. This is my first time unboxing it after purchasing it. Go ahead and get this open. Like I said, whenever you go and buy any type of luxury goods, if they have the option to gift wrap it, do it because that way when you travel by plane, you have a, a protective little box to protect it from any type of damage. And then as you can see, looks like there was some, uh, in the process of transporting it, the box might have gotten a little wet. Let's go ahead and open this up. There we go, that's pretty. Burberry London. And they got a, uh, it's, it's actually stuck here. A little sticker. Let's see if we can carefully open this up. Ah, Chris, I did a little bit. There we go. Put this up here. Uh, you can start seeing the phrase of it a little bit. There we go. I've been wanting a Burberry scarf for a while. You don't know how bad I wanted it. As you know, I travel a lot as is. In Germany, it's not the French Riviera. It is. It gets cold here during the winter. Even back in Oregon, you know, where I'm originally from, it gets cold. And or I have all these nice business clothes, but I don't have nice accessories with it. And that's what why I decided to panther myself with the Burberry scarf. And this thing is pretty. Of course, we got the, the tag here. And so that way you can look at it. And it cost me, notice here, 450 pounds. Now I got a little blinded, I'm not gonna lie. I was not thinking when I saw I was expecting to pay between 300 to 500 dollars for a scarf and so when I saw the 450 dollars for the scarf I got excited I was like yeah yeah that's that's about what I expected but I forgot that the pounds versus the euro conversion rate is a lot different <laughs> and so I, I paid for it and then uh, I looked on my bank statement on my uh, on my phone and it populated as close to $565 because of the conversion rate from uh, pounds to dollars, I about had a mini heart attack. So it's, if you go shopping in London like I did, it's, it, it can be a little bit of a, uh, it can be a little spendy. The experience was nice. We went into the store and we were, we didn't have to wait at all. We were greeted by a, uh, a, a customer service representative. Uh, my wife was looking at the different shoes at the different, um, different shirts. And she was very nice. She was very helpful. She offered me, uh, my wife and my son, some refreshments. So they got orange juice. I had a glass of uh, water. The, they have seating everywhere and it was, it was a very comfortable environment. Now the store that we did go into was the biggest in Europe. It was a old movie theater. They said that the queen and a bunch of other people went to. And you walk in there and you can actually see and feel the movie theater vibes. 
But on the other hand, it was sort of weird on the layout because they had different sections. You can imagine a movie theater or a play stage and then the, all the different rooms and they had different sections for different rooms. And of course I went to the scarf section, my wife checked out the other sections. It was actually really cool. It was a nice experience. The staff was very nice and I, I, like I said, I enjoy going into these luxury brand stores because they, they treat you nice and they treat you good. So let's go ahead and take a deeper look at this. I wish you could feel it. Like the, the quality of this is insane. It's cashmere. Let's get you as close as you can so you can see the stitching. It is absolutely beautiful. And it's very long. Uh, I, I might post a picture of it, but it's it's really long. It's as almost as tall as my own body. So you can wrap it up and keep yourself tucked and nice and warm. Just, just based on the length of it. It's wide. You can see how wide it is. It's probably a good 12 inches wide. And... I just, I just enjoy that type of shopping. Drop a comment below if you have a Burberry scarf. Uh, what style you got? This one was a more traditional print, but blowed up. You could have one with a traditional print smaller. I almost got that one, but uh, this one looks, I thought looked a little bit better. If you got a scarf, drop a comment below. I'd love to see you, your opinion or what scarf you got. If you know of a good place to pick this up, maybe at uh, pick this up brand new, but maybe a little bit cheaper for the conscientious uh, buyer. Drop a comment below and I'll review that. Anyway, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.